On to a big story from Nagaland now, with the state government issuing orders for asymptomatic COVID patients to be placed under home quarantine, many cases of stigmatization and discrimination have surfaced as the localities and panchayats prohibited home quarantine to COVID patients. Health and Family Welfare Principal Director Dr. Vizoli Sukhore and Dr. Kika, while addressing the media today, said this has become a big challenge for the department and it is beyond the control of the medical department. He said the department is having discussions with the administration, adding that the administration needs to gear up on the matter. He further urged the citizens to understand the disease properly and be broad-minded. The stigma and discrimination, this is one area of big concern we have. Stigma and discrimination at the community level, society level, at the village level. I think it is really, really uh, uh, going to be a very, very uh, serious issue. We have come across some villages. If a positive fellow is found positive in their community, and we have already allowed home isolation also for positive cases or home quarantine for asymptomatic cases. All these cases we have allowed for home isolation. But if someone is there, the neighborhood are getting even more panicky. They don't want to stay at home. They want to run away. I think this is all because of myths and misinformation. Some villages, some community, they are telling that even if government allow home isolation, they will not allow, they will not agree to that. I think these are certain things which are doable, which are, once they understand the issue properly, this can be avoided. And the health department reiterated that there is no community transmission in Nagaland as they are able to trace all the source of infections. Sukhori further stated that hospitals in the state are well equipped with ICU facilities. Meanwhile, a Kipire district reported its first COVID case today. 38 new COVID cases have been reported from the state today. We started with, I think, about 700 PPE were available with us. Our district hospitals were ill-equipped when it comes to ICU. We have, we only had three district hospitals having uh, uh, ICU facility activated. Today, I'm very happy to uh, tell you that we have we have activated ICU in all the district hospitals, including the Jaluke COVID Hospital of Peren. Now we are also coming into contact tracing, where many positive cases we are able to trace. We have three doctors who are tested positive and about two nurses and one pharmacist and few sweeper and medical attendants. Uh, those are positive. But one thing I want to reassure you is that this is not dampen the enthusiasm of the health workers or frontline workers. Those who are recovered from their uh, positive status, they have rejoined duty, they are giving their